A Republican vice presidential nominee, J.D. Vance, visits the Central Valley. He's making a stop at Colinga. Your reporter, Madison Keevy, is in Fresno County, where Vance spent the afternoon fundraising with a focus on ag issues. Madison. Curtis, the event was relatively uneventful outside, and I say that because there were no protesters. There were a couple of onlookers just trying to figure out what was going on with this massive security presence here at the Harris Ranch restaurant, well known off of I-5 as a stop, the halfway mark between San Francisco and Los Angeles. But that's what you want at an event like this. A lot of security and, and no events. It went off without a hitch. And I just finished talking to one of the organizers who said he left and now feels inspired. The moment Central Valley Republicans have been waiting for. The Trump campaign's welcome return this election cycle to the middle of the Golden State. The Trump plane landed in Fresno with J.D. Vance on board. Then a motorcade to Kalinga for a fundraiser at Harris Ranch, an area sometimes skipped by high-profile political campaigns. It's huge for them to, to hear our voice. I mean, because water is the lifeblood of the, of the Central Valley of California farming. Mark Marchini is a fourth generation on this Merced County land. Fresh figs are a specialty for the family farming operation. He gave his thoughts about why White House support on this issue is critical. In California, two thirds of the water comes from Northern California. And, and the other third comes from uh, Southern California, but, uh, and that's been the challenge all along. Farmers are vocal about water restrictions that have forced some fields to be left empty. Trump has already promised he'll send more water here on day one if he's reelected. That was a talking point for the VP nominee with donors. At the same time in Chicago, it was Vance who became a talking point for Trump. The former president grilled at the National Convention of Black Journalists on why he picked his now running mate. He's a very strong believer in work and the working man and woman, and especially the working man and woman who have been treated very unfairly. That description of Vance is what attendees and donors here say he really leaned into. Someone described him as authentic, sharing more of the stories of his childhood and relating it back to some of the issues here in the Central Valley. Another way that he was described is kind of like a sponge taking in a bunch of information specifically on ag issues. We know California water and water policies are complicated, and the sentiment was that he was asking the right questions and seemed willing to learn. All right, well, we know you drove all the way down there. I know you had some questions for him had he spoken with you, but in your story, I just saw video of a motorcade going in and not much else. Did he give any availability at all to the media? No, Curtis, he didn't. And I actually was reaching out to the Trump campaign on this. They said that he had a jam-packed schedule. We know he's driving about an hour back to the Fresno airport, was then getting on a flight and heading to Arizona for another fundraiser campaign. Uh, they never actually told me no, I'll say this. I, I asked for five minutes to talk about water and, and these issues, uh, but just never heard back. So, you know, we did not get the J.D. Vance that we've seen at a couple of these other fundraisers where he walks out to media. This was, you know, that motorcade taking a in the back, going inside, and then the motorcade coming back out and leaving. Yeah, five yeah. minutes wouldn't have been a whole lot. We no. know you drove a whole long way down there to talk right. to him. Uh, <laughs> but uh, maybe he has been getting some bad press lately, so maybe limiting his time with the press yeah. uh, could cut down. And we do know he's got a packed schedule. He's been quite, you know, through the area, so. Five minutes. Right, five minutes, that's it. <laughs> All right, Madison, thank you.